A first alert forecast. Well, you've likely heard us using the term a code yellow first alert day or a code red. Uh, these are separated on purpose, mainly to convey the level of threat. Now, this uh, heat wave is mainly a code yellow. We knew that there would be some scattered, mainly isolated impacts regarding the heat. No one day was expected to be record breaking. However, it's the longevity of the hot and humid conditions, particularly both during the day and night, that created this uh, necessity to label these first alert weather days under the code yellow designation. Now, if we were expecting record breaking weather or particularly the heat index values to be well over 100 every day, that's when we'd start looking at the code red because we'd be seeing widespread major impacts due to the heat. This applies to severe weather too, winter weather, winter temperatures. We try to look at the impacts and then kind of gauge that appropriately and try to message that appropriately. In fact, today's a really good example of potential. You know, we didn't quite end up reaching the low to mid 90s for most. Many did, but not all. And as a result, there are some that hit the criteria, some that didn't. We don't want to split hairs. So essentially what we uh, like to make sure we communicate is regardless of if you hit 90 or not, this, the high humidity and particularly the uh, amount of these hot days, particularly with those warm temperatures at night, means that dangerous heat is a reality regardless of the actual temperature achieved each day. So we're going to continue this heat wave into Saturday, likely with each day featuring temperatures likely in the low to mid 90s. Some might be a degree or two shy, but generally speaking, this is not going to be a heat wave that will let up anytime soon. Heat index in the low to mid 90s, north and east of Fort Wayne and south and west, still feeling pretty close to 90 degrees. The tin caps forecast shows that we'll be at or around 90 by first pitch. It'll be muggy. It'll be mostly cloudy, but there could be even still a few sun breaks that will keep the risk of a sunburn still somewhat elevated. Although, you know, we're down from the peak time where we're expecting the UV index to be at its highest. So that's at least a bit of a saving grace here tonight. Temperatures into the mid 80s by 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Still looking at mid 80s tonight, 75 degrees, and that's only expected to be achieved early tomorrow morning at around sunrise. So much of the night. We're going to spend in the upper 70s. Not a lot of relief, still quite uncomfortable. Satellite and radar showing some of that clearing we were talking about earlier. That's allowed temperatures to get to or around 90 in Fort Wayne and points north. South and west of the city, temperatures largely in the upper 80s. Satellite radar showing what we told you yesterday would likely happen, that this area of, area of high pressure would funnel in some clouds and maybe even a few scattered showers across the area, creating a somewhat cooler day today. Heat risks continue into tomorrow, mainly in northwest Ohio, where there's going to be perhaps a more limited cloud cover. Extreme heat risk there. For the rest, a major heat risk. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, by the way, this is issued by the National Weather Service here, these heat risk maps, indicates extreme heat risk likely through the first part of the weekend with a lot of improvement by the end of the weekend. So first alert weather days have continued through Saturday, kind of a mostly cloudy but still hot and humid day Wednesday with the late sun breaks. Mostly sunny 95 on Thursday, a little more sunshine into Friday too, 96. Some showers and thunderstorms potentially late Saturday into early Sunday. But temperatures should drop off into the upper 90s, uh, excuse me, upper 80s to right around 90 on Sunday. Still feeling well hotter than it actually is. Mid 80s on Monday and we should be back to around 90 by early next week. All right. Thank you so much, Matt.